Now, welcome in Bison Nation, our game day preview of the Jackrabbits of South Dakota State. And Jeremy, wow, how about this matchup? One versus three, the marker is on the line. College game day coming to town. This uh, certainly has a big game type of feel to it, no doubt about it. You know, when this trophy game started, you didn't know how it was going to blossom, and it really has blossomed. It, it means a lot to the players on both sides. I think this game has really taken on an identity. And then you add the national scene in, and there's a ton on the line as far as the big picture goes when playoffs come around. Yeah, no question. Home field advantage potentially in the FCS playoffs. You look at South Dakota State on the offensive side of the football, very, very talented. Pierre Strong, talented running back. Kate Johnson, an unbelievable wide receiver. And Jabore Gibbs, a redshirt freshman quarterback. It's a group that's put a ton of points on the board here this season. Yeah, they're really talented at the skill positions. I think their offensive line is good. New coordinator, but they've done all right there. Jabore Gibbs is really the question mark as far as we don't know what we're going to get with him. So that'll be interesting to see how he plays. Yeah, Ten touchdowns to four interceptions, a 59% completion percentage for the redshirt freshman out of Chicago, Illinois. A couple of South Dakota boys for the Bison here in the game day preview. As Spencer Wagey talks about the Bison mentality in the locker room and Derek Tuska about the challenge against the Jackrabbits on Saturday. You can just kind of tell everyone's a little more fired up, but I think a lot of it is too just with the players. I mean, everyone knows how big of a game this is for us. It means a lot, but at the same time, you can't get um, distracted by all the outside noise with it being, you know, marker game and game day being there. I mean, end of the day, you still just got to focus on playing a football game. He's a little bit different than Christian, but he still makes plays uh, both passing in on his feet. Um, so they're, they're very, very similar in that in that aspect, but uh, offense, um, it's similar to our offense, so we go against that every single day, so um, we'll be prepared there. Um, every year they always have some twists and stuff, uh, trick plays, and uh, nothing we haven't seen, but some stuff we might not have prepared for, but uh, we're ready for that. We always talk about that, that they're going to have something up their sleeves, so we just got to adapt and adjust. Well, you take a look at the defensive side of the football for SDSU, very, very good there as well. As you take a look at the numbers, and we talked with John Stigelmeyer earlier this week, South Dakota State head coach. He said, hey, we kind of like the Bison. We want to rotate people up front. We've taken that from NDSU. That defensive line has a different look to it this season. Their front seven on defense is legit. I really like their defensive line. Might be their best group they've had there maybe ever. Their linebackers are really good. Christian Roseboom is uh, one of the top talents in the FCS. Uh, maybe a little inexperienced on the back end, but still talented back there. This is a really good Jackrabbit defense. Yeah, Logan Backus, another guy at linebacker, a tremendous player, 52 tackles on the season. And uh, Roseboom, a guy that leads all active FCS players with 418 career tackles. He's all over the field. Trey Lance a Marshall, Minnesota native, discusses the challenge against the SDSU defense. A lot of the same defense uh, that we've seen uh, from them in the past, they're still playing it this year. A little bit different, uh, mixing up a few looks. Obviously, new faces, but Roseboom is the same. You know, I think he's the biggest playmaker that uh, you know has been making plays for years. It seems like we've, we've played against him for all the games I've watched uh, against them. But uh, really good team uh, through and through, uh, do their job really well, and I think they're really well coached. Well, we've laid it all out for you. Number one versus number three. Game day, the marker, maybe a top two seed in the postseason. This is as big as it gets, folks, in the FCS in the regular season. Give me a key for the green and yellow for the Bison going down to Dykow Stadium to be successful Saturday. I think ball security, uh, turnovers, that was a big story two years ago when the Bison lost down there. It's the last loss for the Bison. It was a big story that day. You don't want it to be the story on this day for the Bison. Yeah. Take care of that football, and they've been great at that this year. Yeah, no question about it. The Dakota marker game, North Dakota State and South Dakota State. For Jeremy Jorgensen, also for Cole Hine, I'm Jeff Colhane. It's our game day preview of the Jackrabbits.